Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the SH Figure Arts Android 21. So yes, here we have Android 21 from Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which is a game I have not played because I don't like fighting games. But I have always been fond of the character aesthetically, and I don't really know anything about her other than she is a pink woman that likes food, but I can get behind that. Those seem like good characteristics. So I was more than willing to pick her up, and she is really good. She's probably one of my favorite Dragon Ball releases this year. So if you are a fan of that game or pink women that like food, she's probably worth picking up. Starting off with a quick size comparison, of course, here we have 21. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. As you would expect, SH figure arts are generally a bit smaller than your domestic 6-inch figures, but still bigger than a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. And here she is next to a standard SH figure art, which is Goku, and they are about the same size. Goku's a little bit taller, but she is a perfectly standard kind of size for the SH figure arts line. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at 21. Moving on to our 360 spin, of course 21's flesh is pink. She has a black top on and black arm warmer thingies. All of her jewelry is gold. She has a choker, some bracelets, a belt, and her anklets. She's got big white poofy pants, a pink tail in the back, and she's got on black high heels with gold tips. I hate the fact that she has high heels because I hate heels aesthetically in general, and I especially hate them on figures because they make things standing up difficult. But apart from that, I have no real complaints. She looks just the way she's supposed to. Head sculpt wise, 21 has her mass of spiky hair, which flows in various directions. It's an interesting color. It's kind of like light gray that has had a small drop of pink put into it, so that's cool. And then she has four different faces. She has a normal face with the eyes looking off to the side, a screaming face with the eyes looking forward, and a smiling face with the eyes looking off to the side. And then she has her non-evil face, and her eyes are also looking off to the side on that one. It's weird that she only has one face where she looks forward, but whatever. All the faces are executed well, and other than the eye placement thing, I don't really have anything to complain about. Articulation-wise, 21 has pretty standard SH figure arts articulation. Head moves forward and back, side to side, rotates. Her hair is on a little hinge that actually moves backwards pretty far. It is unfortunately heavy enough that it can make her head fall backwards whenever you lift it up like that, so that can make it difficult to actually put that joint to any use, but it is there. Her shoulders pop out a little bit instead of having butterfly joints, then they move in and out, forward and back, move around in the socket a little bit, bicep cut, single joint elbows, hinge and rotation in the wrist. It's got ball pegs in the chest and waist so you get some nice body movement. Hips move in and out forward and back, thigh cut, double jointed knees, hinge, pivoting, rotation in the ankles, a toe joint, then she has a big ball hinge in the tail, rotation at the base, and a rotation in the middle of the tail, so you should be able to get her into most of the poses that you really would like to do. Accessories wise, 21 comes with several hands. She has one set of matching hands and then seven other hands. She has one set of grasping hands. Then she has this set of asymmetrical hands that are for her crossed arm pose. She has one pointing hand, one holding hand for her donut, one open palm blasting hand, one hand that is very similar to her set of grasping hands but the fingers aren't quite as curled, and one flat palm hand. All the hands are really nicely detailed. It's weird how many non-matching sets of hands she has. And it's also weird that she has no fist hands. She's got to be the first figure in this line other than Shenron to not have fist hands. It's very, very unusual. And her only other accessory is her small donut, which has a bite taken out of it. It can be placed in her holding hand or looped onto one of her extended fingers on the hands that have extended fingers. Packaging-wise, you get your standard SH Figure Arts packaging. SH Figure Arts Android number 21. Big window, picture of the figure, all your Bandai and Tamashii Nation's logos and stuff. And on the back you get some pictures and poses for the figure and all of your standard warning label garbage. As always, these are good for in or out of package display. And that about wraps it up for 21. So until next time, goodbye!
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my content, feel free to subscribe and click that little bell thing. I've been told that that does something or other. You can also give me money to buy toys at patreon.com slash VR reviews, see pictures of toys at instagram.com slash VR reviews, or see tweets about toys at VenomRaptor09 on Twitter. And I would greatly appreciate you doing any of those things.